Hey guys, back with another raid cam, and in this one, this guy needs to defend solo. Can he do it? That's the question. So this is the front where there's all like the gas that can cause trouble. Looks like uh, this is the people that live here. The enemy are trying to pteranodon spin the wall, which at the moment looks like it's been kind of effective because they've done damage, a lot of damage. So they've been getting rockets off. He's been replacing. Spam. Put pillars in front. That's kind of pointless to just shoot a rocket in and blow that up and then go in. Just like that. Let me get these your pillars. Now they can PT spin through again. I think he's just realised. Damn it. Is it just one... Is it just moist defending? <laughs> what are you doing the fool? Is it going to... Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. I hope they have enough terrain ons. For this kind of situation, you need like 300 terrain on. Like I say, putting that stuff up only only prevents it for a little while. They're coming in now. He's about to go for it. You need to do like multiple at a time, not just one. Oh, that gas bag is actually almost dead. Oh, he's boosting him. Oh, we got all the fence supports. Dude, if it wasn't for those fence supports, that would have been a wall down. His man is one man defending army right now. It was a legit try. Like if they did it now, I'm sure they were. One of the one of his bodies has landed on the wall. So, um, Up, destroyed his mask and then he died from the poison. <laughs> if he destroyed his own form with that, I would have f myself, dude. Holy All right, he's sending down Fabby shots down the middle, trying to take the guy out so they can do a push without any issues, so he stops him from putting down spam. Um, the spam is annoying him a little bit, but it's only going to be for a little while until they go again. You got a lot of people, there's no one online. He's literally so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, six to seven people in their tribe. There we go, there we go. Clear passage. Now you guys can try it on spin. As you can see they've tried to do a few spins. So far hasn't been fully successful. Just trying to get through with the spam. Then once they get to the wall, they will do a lot of damage, so this guy needs to think and act fast. What's he gonna do? Oh, that was a, he's still alive. Did he just die? Dude, he was alive for ages after that. Dude, there goes half the wall. They can do that again. I mean, I don't think they, I don't think he dropped many. I don't think he dropped any turrets. So that's the problem. They need another person to do it at the same time. Here we go. Here we go. That's down. It's in preparation. Dude, he almost got behind the boxes. That, that was... That was a good one. However, like last time, from what I can see, no turrets are actually getting destroyed. It's just the wall. Which is replaceable. It's built it very strong. He just got behind those boxes and had spare armor. He could have placed a sleep bag. You should take sleeping bags with him every single time now. If you want to rocket your own fucking fob, I am going to like clip the shit out of that and make it a viral video. So please do it. His problem then is that he got through the wall. <laughs> he should just try and go through with sleeping bag. He went right through the fucking wall. <laughs> He's intensifying the turrets. He may actually defend this. In he may defend this. Oh boy, is he taking too long? He's now rebuilding his wall. And it's GG. The boys are too slow with your pushes. He's, re he's rebuilding, guys. This guy is charging up his barrel. 
Who's going to win? Who's going to build faster? Who's going to blow up faster? He goes to see. He didn't get the rocket off. If he got that rocket off, he would have dropped so many turrets. Yep, see, he, now he's just realized, I need to put some bloody fence supports here. Now, he's going to have to do a barrel just to blow those up. And then, when he's not paying attention, do it again. So, this is, in my opinion, GG. He got f***ing Chungus Majungus. Just blowing himself up the whole time. I'm feeling he's going to blow the f***ing fob up in a second accidentally. So he didn't end up blowing the fob up, which I was kind of like sad about because that would have been so funny. But they tried a few more times, then they pulled out. They gave up. They couldn't do it. You see, that would have went well if he hadn't replaced all those fence supports. Successfully defended Solo. These guys, these other, these guys, other guy was just raiding. They failed and picked up to a Solo defender. Now this bloke's about to go try and get some BPs, and he's about to get fucking uh oh, he's about to get dropped by this dude. There's three guys in there doing it. Dude only just moved away. So he's chilling here, kind of realizing that there's a love golem going on. So he wants to ambush him a little bit. He's probably telling his boys, yo, this guy's doing the lava golem. You can ambush him. You could play, if you had C4 and you could place a C4 trap so when they all run out, he's going to try and flog some loot. He's going to see the thing pop up. Like when it, when it dies, they're going to see the thing disappear. He's going to run in, try and grab something and get out. Oh, he's backing up, he's backing up, he's backing up, he's scared. Oh, they're coming for him! It's really funny because they were talking so much smack to each other. These guys were pushing back. And um, it's just so funny to listen to when you're not actually there. Hey, bitch. What are you doing? He just keeps doing? pushing with the shield. This is doing almost nothing to that guy. This guy's trying his hardest to get a kill. He's taking him on. He's taking him on. He's right on him. Oh! No! <laughs> he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. And with that, they set off a Hail Mary of gunfire, being shot from all different directions. He decided he needed to bail. This wasn't for him. He needed to get out of here. He was getting smacked up. He needs to get out of here now. Jesus! Jesus, run, boy, run! Covering fire! So he hid. These guys had no idea where he was. He was right behind the crystal and they're like, Oh, maybe he's gone out there. Let's chase him down. And this guy decides. He wants to pop a couple shots into him and give his position away. Which was very, very silly in my opinion. So the guys came back and now they're hunting him. So he has to run. <laughs> it's fine for his life. <laughs> Do you see all those shots? Need to go. Need to go. Are they gonna ambush him? Oh, that level 99999 guys out there. He loves this place. They've all gone outside now. He's he's behind them. He's trying to catch up to him to try and get a cheeky little kill on him. He wants that loot. He wants to get at least one of them. And he does, he gets one of them. Well, Twig died. Uh oh, hey, he's about to die. Killed, he killed Twig. This dude's a fucking beast. Oh, he got his body? To assassin! Some people don't realize there's actually two different ways into the lava golem, and they're fighting in the second entrance. This guy, I don't know, I think his time might be up. He's taking on two guys again right now. He survived for a while, can he get out of here? He needs to get out of here. He grapple glitches out of here. And just launches into the sky. She's going back in. <laughs> so he went back into the into the cave, and then these guys got ambushed by level 999999 Mantis. And we all remember who this guy was. This guy took on an entire tribe last time and survived. So now he's back again for some for some revenge. And this guy is the embodiment 
of the T-1000. He doesn't die. He just keeps coming and just keeps going. And he will take you on. I don't know who this is, but hands down, man. I don't know how you survived for so long, but you've got it down pat. GG. It's the three versus one now. Toast is just chilling there. He's like, can I steal a kill? This fucking guy is so low fine. These. Who's got those hidey holes? Oh, damn. He's killed one of them! And killing one of them, he's set himself up for hopefully victory. He's gonna get one more, then it'll be a 1v1. Oh, damn, there's another one. So we killed the naked, and now it's time to try and take on the last guy. But now it's a 3 versus 3, or 1 versus 1 versus 1. Oh, he's coming in clutch! Oh, now he's fighting him! This guy's just like, f***ing him out! These two are now on, on smoke. This 99 guy, this brew brew guy. Oh, he's taking, he's gonna take, he, he, he's burning as he's falling. He survived. And getting smacked with a hell Mary of, fa of Fabby shots from above, he decides he needs to leave. Lasered, dude. And he's out. He had to retreat. They vault dropped their wall. This guy is serious. It's actually a really nice base. Done a really fucking good job with the boys. So you know how there was a battle. There was a battle between two tribes on center. So there was a guy, there was guys in um, Bear Cave. And I'm like, these guys still haven't got heavies. It was Paradox or something. Or something, something along the lines of that. Now, this, guess what? They're not there anymore. <laughs> they got wiped because they wouldn't get heavies. They, I don't know what they were doing, but like, it was like day three and there was still no heavies. And it was only a couple autos like. Now these guys have got Crouch, covered by Tech and Heavy, which is insane for um, early game. And then you come in here, and look at this. These guys have taken over. They've built a massive wall, and they're ready for war. Like this is what you need to have. They've decided that Bear Cave would be good, because Bear Cave is one of my favourites. So what they're doing here, I think, is they're going to put a secondary wall. That's just temporary right there. All their main stuff will always be at the back here. Crafting and their uh, like loot and shit like that will be at the back here. But like, and then you have like raising and shit just here. This guy is going insane with his, with his building. Crazy. Okay, so they're still pretty weak as well. They got at least they got some heavies, but they got no tech yet, which is concerning. Crafting area is average. Nope. These guys are still going, but they still don't have tech. And this is a Quetzal's dream. What does this say? Don't whistle. Neutral. Complacent turrets. Put them on high. Remember to turn males off mating. Need refertilizer in the hat tree for it to work. So it was over on center. And this little rat hole I've shown you a few times. This guy was scouting it. Having a little sus. He does end up coming back later. But that'll be in a later episode. Then I headed over to Extinction. And Shocker's tribe ambushed another tribe while doing a OSD, took it over, went and killed all their car chars. When you have more than one, we have the majority number, you can do way better than the other people. They went off, 
They blew up their heavies. Stop them from, uh, from having this drop anymore and claimed it for themselves. Getting some free loot, some easy BPs. And that's how it's done. Extinction is extremely important for fast advancing. Having the tree, which is probably one of the only decent spots on extinction, is extremely strong. For MTS, where it only lasts for up to about six weeks, having this location, where it's not six times from what I know, it's the ideal spot. If you can build it right, it's thick, it's strong, and it makes you be able to go raid. There was even another base on here, another tribe, the one that they just ambushed. They had a sneaky little spot where they used to do cloning, and I don't think a lot of people actually knew that they were doing it under their nose, and it was kind of funny to watch. We head back over the center, and the rat gang have been ambushed by these people. So they're using a rhino, and I love rhinos. If you guys know me, rhinos are amazing. And to see rhinos back in play again is amazing. I feel like they shouldn't be netted. They can be Z'd and have a cooldown on the Z's, but they shouldn't be netted because they need to be scary again, in my opinion. So they find these guys, right? He's killed one of them, and there's a few more people that the Wyvern's trying to pick right now. So the, the Rhino is getting a little bit of a charge up, trying to get ready to get the, the cheeky little kill. And this guy, as you can see on the left here, he's hiding. He's planning something. What's he planning? He's got an idea. He's got a sneaky little idea and he's waiting for the perfect moment. What are you doing, buddy? His idea was put C4 on there and try and get a kill. Will he be victorious? He failed, and now he needs to pay. And that's death for you, mate. So with that victor victory that he got there, he ran off back towards his base and murdered the dude's griffin. This rhino is on a kill streak. Honestly, like I said, playing Scorched Earth, having those fun fights where Therese used to be scary and there used to be speed there, he's coming after you, and you saw one, you ran. Now it's just net, net, flashbang, net, wyvern, everything. There's so many counters, and it kind of sucks. For now, this guy right here is the epitome of karma. He just killed a bob, a level like 30 bob. He hunted him down and killed him for nothing. And then these guys came along straight after and did the same thing to him if this isn't calm i don't know what is this man literally just gets a taste of his own medicine and i find that sweet sometimes sometimes i like it when that stuff happens to people because then they think maybe i shouldn't have done that that bob was just there with his stone hatchet you know on his raft just chilling He's level 30, you're level 90 or 100. And that is karma. But then these guys kill a bob too. Bro. The bobs are taking L's. Not the bobs. Oh my god, this is such an easy raid. What the f*** is this? Holy f This is like... Draw material, bro. I'll let you guys know that this base here that I'm showing you right now, up until some of the last days that I recorded this raid cam series, it was still standing. No one ever found it from what I know. It may have got raided right at the end, but it almost never got found. This base right here, is one of the alpha locations on Genesis 2. It's a new base base location made by MTS. Um, it's extremely big inside. As you can see, there's a lot of space. There's a lot of room for activities. These guys are doing well. They're actually building right up. They've got their war room now. They've got their deployment area. And it's all color coordinated. On Apparition, this is one of the surface entrances that has been 
it's been buffed a little bit. The entrance has been changed. Uh, I think they blocked off one of the other entrances so you can only have this one way in. And it made it a lot stronger, made people want to build there a bit more. The other surface entrance though, this one here, I don't know what happened to it, but they're gone. I think they got raided, or they packed up. I want to get out of the spice These yeah. guys here. Oh my god, just wait. <laughs> okay, so they built the thing. <laughs> God, that is tedious just to take out a pillbox at a farming location that they stole their transmitter. <laughs> Can't believe they stole their transmitter. Retreat for now, boys! Retreat! And that, guys, is the end of another video. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. It's something different. Obviously, everything seems to be the same these days. And I thought, hey, this is a nice little change. So I'm going to keep it up and keep you guys entertained.